Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your Aptopreneur. Um, so, uh, oh jeez, uh, I'm sick. I'm sick. Uh, so why am I making a video? Because I really should be resting. Well, I guess I've gotten people a little used to daily updates. Which isn't a bad thing. Um, but, you know, I was in the middle of some projects and I disappeared for a few days and people were asking, hey, what's going on? And they emailed me. Some people have been emailing me and asking where I was, and I said, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sick. I'm just trying to get better. And someone actually asked me, oh, okay, well, you're sick, so does that, but you're your own boss, so are you still going to drive Uber or Postmates or whatever? Okay. Um, chalk this advice up and this video up to a big dull, but... You should not work when you're sick. You should not work while you're sick. Now, I know society has more or less kind of had a very, or has given society mixed messages on being sick. Uh, they say that if you're sick, they'd rather you stay home and get better rather than come to work and get other people sick. Or if you're like a cook or something, mess with the food and get other people sick. And yet, when you call out sick... You are penalized for it, uh, whether you can only call it six so many days or you might get points and you have so many points a year of sick days. Uh, I'm not saying there's anything particularly wrong with the system, but it does paint a very interesting picture of companies who say, yeah, we don't want you to come in sick, but you got to come in sick unless you want to get punished for being sick. So... One of the advantages of the gig economy is this wonderful freedom where you don't have to go to work if you're sick. You don't have to work any days you don't want to. It's that simple. You, if you're just if you're sick and if you don't feel like going to work, simply don't go. I mean that's one so that's one thing. The other thing is you don't want to be working when you're sick cuz whether it be Uber or Postmates or DoorDash or Lyft you don't want to look and sound like this when you're dealing with customers. There will be complaints made against you. And if one of those people, like, if someone saw me right now handing them food with my nose runny and stuffy and even coughing a little bit, then guess what? They're, uh, they're not going to be happy and they're going to complain about that. Same thing with Uber. Also, with Uber, if you're driving people around, you got to sometimes be really diligent and earnest, and you got to pay sharp attention to things. And it can be very dangerous if the driver needs to pull over frequently because they're feeling not so good. So, talk to, I, it shouldn't seem like it has to be said. I think it seemed pretty obvious myself, but I guess it wasn't. Uh, but if you're sick, don't work. Just don't work. Stay home. Try to sleep. Drink a lot of orange juice and Gatorade. Get some chicken soup. Just, just don't, don't push yourself. Don't push the customers. Don't do any of it. It's not wise. You're still going to be making the same rates for the most part, unless you happen to be sick during like a super high surge rate, which in that case, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're going to have to miss that out, but sometimes you just got to do it. But otherwise, the rates are the same, and you're just going to get lower star grades, that's all. So I wouldn't do it. And I guess I should also mention, obviously, I'm not going to be making any more videos until I'm better. So... This is a very, very rare exception. I only made this video because I got the dumb email and, well, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, hey, look at me. Would you trust someone, a guy like me to drive you in your Uber or to handle your food? Probably not. So, anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.